Hi, welcome to ESP32 tutorial from Robojax. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri. I'm presenting this tutorial from Canada. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how we can control more than one servo motor using ESP32 microcontroller with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module. In this case, I've connected four servo motors with external power. Now I'm connecting the five volts. As you can see, each can be controlled and they're running. You can get the code for this by clicking at the link below the video in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. Also, I have another video explaining how to control a servo motor using ESP32 without potentiometer. The link for the video is below this video. Also, I have a video explaining how to control servo motor using potentiometer and ESP32. The link for that video is below this video in the description. Let me briefly explain the servo motor. Servo motor is a type of motor that uh, the shaft can be controlled to move only 180 degrees or the half, a half a circle, something like that and then you can control precisely where it should be between 0 and 180 degrees. There are also other types of servo motors that, for example, there is something called continuous servo, which I have the link below. It will rotate 360 degrees and you can control it. Uh, but these are the most common one. And also you might get this type of servo motor, which is very heavy with high torque. It is the same way it can go 0 to 180 degrees and it will stop so this is MG966R version and this is the metal gear this is all metal and this is a plastic gear so this will be much cheaper like three or four or five times cheaper than this uh, but uh, in general this is the operation and you can control it so the servo motor has three wires the darker wire is the ground, the 5 volts is always at the middle in case we, you make mistake in terms of connection in RC or car or airplane. So the middle is always 5 volts and this is a signal. You might see it as a black wire on this side, red is always red, on this side you might see white, but doesn't matter. So they are the same. Uh, uh, configuration is exactly the same, ground, 5 volts and signal. Let me now explain the wiring. First, prepare four male-to-male. -male. These are all male-to-male -male wires. Align them in, in the same line. So four of these, these will be used as positive or power for the servo. We are connecting them in here for four of them. And then one extra here this is for positive external power. So I have five wire here, and then here connect also four male to male. These are all for the ground, and then one, the fifth one is also for the ground. And here are my servo motors. I will start connecting uh, from this side to the positive of servo 0, servo 1, servo 2, servo 3. So I'm connecting it to the positive. The middle wire is positive. That's for servo 1, Z servo 0. That's servo 1. That's a power for servo 2. And the last one, servo 3. All the positive have been connected. Now I'm connecting the negative from this side. Servo 0, 1, 2, and 3.
now all of them they have second wire as you can see the last wire on this side is a signal the orange I have this four wires here is male to female this side goes to the ESP32 this side will go to servo 0 1 2 and 3 accordingly so I'm going to connect it to servo 0 then servo 1 then servo 2 and the last one will go for servo 3 this is my external 5 volts the power I'm connecting this white yellow on this side I'm connecting it to red to positive now I'm just holding them like this and connecting it to pen 12 14 27 26 which are all side by side this ground from here will be connected to the ESP32 to this pen where I have a ground and here from my power supply I have to connect another ground to this module now I have two ground one ground goes to the wiring one ground goes to the external power because the external power must have common ground with this if you have not prepared it you have to click on file preferences and then uh, and this section click and this line that you see I will provide you you have to paste and include it here and click OK and click OK I will provide you for that link after that go to tools at this point board board manager wait for this to complete it takes a while until you can type here now type ESP 32 once you typed it in, in your case you will see here install click install in mine it has already been installed so I have the remove so once you click on install it takes a few seconds or maybe a minute everything will be installed then click on tools and select the port that your device is connected let me explain the code you need to download the library that I've updated for this purpose uh, you will download it you need to download the uh, library which is provided by Robotics Bruno the credit goes to Jarek Perel Jarek Perel and it will not uh, this library was not working with Arduino due to conflict with the existing servo so I have updated the library I will provide you the link you download it as a zip file and save it once you saved it on your computer click on sketch include library add .zip library then point to where you have saved it for example if this was in, inside the download and this was your zip file select it and click open and then make sure also you are ESP32 make sure also your Arduino is prepared for ESP32 let's open the file click on uh, fi file examples and then scroll down until you see ESP32 servo ESP32 this is the library that I've updated if you have not installed it you will not be able to see it properly then click multiple servos number three and open it I've provided the link to the original author the credit goes to him but I've updated the code and written a lot of stuff here and here this includes servo underscore esp 32h is a header file from library uh, which you have just downloaded and included servo count you will type here number of servos that you have and this is an array of constant this 
4 goes here so because we have 4 servos we have to enter the pins for the servo that is connected I am connecting the servo to pin 12, 14, 27, 26 these are the pins that are side by side on the board and in your case it might be on the board it might be labeled as G12, G14 but you just type the number without the G just pure number and here we get th that class and we create an instance of it as an array and this should be 4 the same number of count so and then this set servos this is a uh, uh, function with a loop that sets all the servo at the same angle but you will not do it this way you will set your own servo but I'm going to explain it inside the setup we initialize the serial monitor with 115,200 and then we print this text and then we have to attach all the servos using the for loop which goes from i equals 0 to count to 4 0 1 2 3 less than 4 and it is being incremented and we get servo dot attach and then the servo pen this will get the pen from here And if this is successful, this under uh, exclamation mark means not. If it is not, then we get this text servo i error, servo 1, servo 2, servo 3, if there is something with it. Otherwise, you will not get any uh, notification. It's successful inside the loop. W this loop, the job of this loop is to send each servo to a specific uh, angle between 0 to 180 degrees and then uh, this time from 180 to 0 I will explain one of them so the, po the position degrees starts from 0 and it is being incremented by 1, 2, 3 and so forth until it reaches as long as it is equal or under 180 degrees so it goes from 0, 1, 2, 3 up to 180 and this position degree set servo we pass it in here so the servo moves to that angle but this means set all the servos to that angle and then we print it on the screen and with a give it 20 millisecond so the servo moves to that location then next time it changes to one and two or three so we are sending all the servos to that location and this is the opposite it starts from 180 and decrements you see negative negative and positive positive so this is decrementing until it reaches zero and the this loop will end and then this loop main loop will start which means the next time it goes again from positive to from 0 to 180 and then from 180 to 0 this loop will continue when it reaches to 0 again it goes back to the loop now let me explain this set servos when it gets the angle here from 0 to 180 or from 180 to 0 whatever the number is it goes to this function which is at the top of the code here and here so that value that we have when, when it arrives here it's an integer and we call it degree and here is an angle and then this i is set to from 0 to the count number of servos you have so th it goes smaller than count which is 3 and incremented and here we get the angle degree plus this is 35 times i it's just a random value that we have here and then modulus 180 this uh, ensures that not no value is above 180 degrees and then servo i this is as if i type when i is zero this will become zero so servo zero servo one servo two and three right and then this angle which is a calculation of this so we have uh, different numbers every time for each servo so the value would be a little different to make it a little interesting Let me now demonstrate. Let me now demonstrate controlling four servo motors with ESP32. I have loaded the code. Everything is connected. External power that needs to be supplied for this is not connected. Now I'm connecting external power. And as you can see, they are all running.
and here is a code where you can move a specific servo to any angle that you want the rest of the code is the same I'm just giving you an example inside the loop you put servo and this is because of an array you put the index servo 0 servo 1 2 3 so remember the count of servo starts with 0 and then dot right and then put the angle for example this puts the servo 0 at 30 degrees servo 1 at 80 servo 2 at 150 and servo 3 at 180 and there is one second delay and then all these will change to different angle and one second delay and the loop will continue continue doing the same thing so this is just an example for you to be able to move servo to any location you want now i'm correct uh, the code have been uploaded now i'm just connecting the power so one second at one angle and the other second at the other angles Thank you for watching. This was how to control more than one servo motor using ESP32 microcontroller. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, post it in the comment section below. And if you are my subscriber, I always try to answer and reply. If you want to get updates of my upcoming videos, make sure to subscribe.